The purpose of this tutorial is to help an academic program's representative understand how to fill out the academic assessment report template. Each spring, the Office of Assessment, Accreditation, and Academic Program Planning emails assessment report templates to academic programs. The purpose of this template is to serve as a place for documenting assessment related to all components of an academic program. This includes student learning outcomes and strategic objectives and the associated measures, targets, findings, action plans, and action plan follow-ups. The program representative is expected to provide the following information found on the template. Follow-ups to prior year action plans. Findings for targets tied to the measures for student learning outcomes and institutional effectiveness objectives. And new action plans for the upcoming academic year. In addition, these templates allow the user to revise various report components, such as mission statements, the student learning outcomes and institutional effectiveness objectives themselves, and the measures and targets associated with student learning outcomes and institutional effectiveness objectives. The template is protected except in specific areas where a response or revision is needed. This protection is intended to A, protect the integrity of the original information on the template, and B, to help the user locate the areas in the document where input is desired. These unprotected areas can be used to enter simple text, paste various other types of documentation such as images, spreadsheets, and text copied from Word and PDF documents. This tutorial will walk through the various sections of the report where this requested information can be provided by the user. This tutorial does not attempt to help define what a good SLO objective, measure, target, or action plan might look like for your specific program. If you need assistance defining these components, Jody Pettazzoni, UNCG's liaison to the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges, also known as SACS COC, is ready to consult with you. Your program's mission statement is the first item that may need attention. If the mission statement will remain in place as is, simply check the box next to No Changes. If the mission of the program has changed, check the box next to If you modified this mission and enter the revised mission in the editable text area. The follow-ups on action plans section contains the action plans the program was expected to execute during the academic year. An editable text area containing the words provide your action plan follow-up here is where you should follow up on the execution of the plan. Provide information like did you execute the plan, how did the execution go, and what were the results. The next section you'll encounter will be the section for providing additional miscellaneous information related to the action plan follow-up section. In this optional section, the user is provided with an editable text area where other information regarding action plan follow-ups may be provided. For example, did you execute an action plan that wasn't listed in the template we provided? If so, here's the spot to list that action plan and its associated follow-up. Other miscellaneous information may be provided here as well related to the action plan follow-up section. The student learning outcomes section is next. In this section, all the student learning outcomes for the program are listed. Each outcome is followed by the associated measure and target used to illustrate the program's results in achieving the outcome. The focus of this section is the findings section. 
Here in the editable section containing the words provide the findings for this measure target here, the user will report the findings related to the measure and target for this student learning outcome. Please note the user should include data and analysis or interpretation of the data that support the finding. As in the mission statement section, the user has the option to provide revisions to the student learning outcome, the measure, and the target by clicking the checkbox next to the words, if you modified this, and then entering the revision in the corresponding editable area. If no revisions are needed, simply check the box next to no changes. Next, you'll find the section for additions, miscellaneous information, and other changes related to the student learning outcomes section. In this optional section, the user is provided with an editable area where other information regarding student learning outcomes may be provided. For example, did the program have a student learning outcome measure target set that wasn't listed in the template? Here's the spot to list that set and its associated findings. Other miscellaneous information related to the Student Learning Outcomes section may be provided here as well. Next, we find the Strategic Objectives section. In this section, the strategic objectives for the program are listed. Each objective is followed by an associated measure and target used to illustrate the program's results in achieving the objective. This section is very similar to the Student Learning Outcomes section previously discussed. One major difference is the addition of a matrix directly under each objective. This matrix contains nine checkboxes related to the areas of transformation and areas of strategic focus outlined in the UNCG strategic plan. You may check any number from zero to all nine of the checkboxes, depending on what parts of the UNCG strategic plan this particular objective supports. More information about the UNCG strategic plan can be found at strategicplan.uncg.edu. The other main focus of this section is the findings section. Here in the editable area containing the words provide the findings for this measure slash target here, the user reports the findings, including data and analysis of the data related to the measure and target for this objective. As in previous sections, the user has the option to provide revisions to the objective, the measure, and the target by clicking the checkbox next to the words, if you modified this, and then entering the revision in the corresponding editable area. If no revisions are needed, simply check the box next to no changes. Finally, at the bottom of each objective measure target set is an area called activities. In this optional area, you may list activities you performed in association with this objective. Next, you'll find a section for additions, miscellaneous information, and other changes for the strategic objective section. In this optional section, the user is provided with an editable area where other information regarding strategic objectives may be provided. For example, did the program have a strategic objective measure target set that wasn't included in the template we provided? Here's the spot to list that set and its associated findings. Other miscellaneous information related to the strategic objectives section can be provided here as well. As we near the bottom of the template, the next section is the dissemination of results section. In this section, the user enters how they shared the assessment results to stakeholders and who they were. In this last section of the template, the user shares what action plans they intend to execute in the upcoming academic year. You must include at least one action plan for the upcoming year. It's also important to note that an action plan should be created to address all outcomes and objectives for which a target was missed. Thank you for reviewing this tutorial. If you have questions regarding the use of the template, please contact Scott Jones at wsjones2 at uncg.edu. 
If you need assistance with defining your outcomes, objectives, measures, targets, and action plans, please contact Jody Petazzoni at J-E-P-E-T-T-A-Z at uncg.edu.